Hello, welcome to our devotional time here at Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff. Certainly is an honor to be with you again, and uh, as always, our prayer is that we will be a little bit of an encouragement to you if things are not just absolutely right in your life, and normally they're not with everything that's going on today, but I want to read some passages of Scripture out of Psalms chapter 85. Uh, I would encourage you to read uh, verses 1 through 13, but I'm just going to uh, drop down and get verses 8 and 9 out of this, and we'll try to uh, get you uh, something to uh, chew on, uh, maybe something to help you. It says, I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servant, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. In Come at Once was a SOS that was uh, sounded out that we have struck a barge. Those were the first words that Harold Cotman, the wireless operator of the RSM Katapia, received from the sinking RSM, RMS Titanic at 12.25 on April 15, 1912. This ship would be the first ship to the disaster scene, saving over 706 lives. In a U.S. Senate hearing uh, days later, the captain of the ship uh, testified. He said, this whole thing was absolutely providential. So the wireless operator was uh, simply listening. Uh, was at his cabin at the time. He wasn't on duty. And he was simply listening as he was undressing, getting ready to, for bed. Uh, perhaps in 10 minutes he would have been in bed and would not have heard the message. Listening matters, doesn't it? Especially listening to God. The writer of Psalms chapter 85, the son of sons of Korah, urged a tenny of obedience when they wrote, I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servant. But let them not turn to folly. You know, surely salvation is near those who fear him. You know, the, the, the thing that's going on here, the ancestors of, of Korah are... Uh, uh, making this uh, claim here, and he had rebelled against God and had, had perished in the wilderness. And the night that the Titanic sank, another ship was much closer than the Carthonian, but uh, the wireless operator had gone to bed. Had he heard the distress signal, perhaps more lives would have been saved, you know, but... Uh, you know, when we listen to God obeying His teachings, He's going to help us navigate even life's troubled waters. We, we have those. And uh, you know, I can't just, it seems like every time I think about something anymore, I think about the troubles and trials that uh, come our way, especially with everything that is going on today, the, the COVID, and it seems to just be uh, something all the time that trouble us, but... Uh, Listen to what the Lord says. His promises, He promises peace to His people, His faithful servant. But let them not turn to folly. Don't turn away from God. Remain true to Him. Listen to what God's Word says. Not what I say, not what somebody else says, but what God says. If you'll do that, he will bless our lives. And I'm, I'm not promising you there's not going to be problems because there are. We know that in humanity. We dwell in humanity, so we're going to have that. But if we listen to God and follow God's word, everything will work out for the good. May God bless you is our prayer. Come to some of our services at Temple. We meet at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. I have a Sunday school classes at 9 and then a second worship service at 10, Sunday night at 6, and Wednesday night at 7. Come and be a part of any of those services. May God bless you is our prayer.